Hello everyone. So last week I had my home visit from my midwife. If you've been watching me at all, you know I'm like in love with my midwife. She's pretty awesome. Um, she also showed up with the other midwife that will assist her during my birth. I had never met her before, but I instantly liked her too. She was pretty awesome. My mom was here for the visit because she'll be here for the birth. So everyone that was there, that's going to be there was here for the visit. It was, it's going to be me, my husband, my mother, and two midwives. And that's it. Not a ton of people. My mom doubles as doula and birth photographer and anything else I could ever need. She's pretty awesome and can do pretty much anything. So she pretty much acted as doula for my birth with Logan and it was amazing. She helped me so much to get through everything to have my natural hospital birth that I had. So I expect her to do, you know, I expect her to be just as much help this time and hopefully I can deal with it a little better at home. Logan is swiffering. So as soon as they got here for the visit, she carried in the birth pool. So they had, um, the birth pool is at my house now, which is really exciting. It's been here for over a week now. And then immediately they just kind of wanted to see around, see where things were. They wanted to see our bedroom, our bed, where the restrooms were. And then we started talking about where we were going to set up the pool before we even, um, before we even sat down. And um, originally I had been thinking and my husband and I discussed and kind of agreed that we would give, I would give birth in our bathroom because our master bath is pretty large, but um, it turns out the pool is also larger than we were expecting it to be. It's a pretty big pool. It's not, it's not a little thing. So while we were discussing it, Matt went ahead and partially inflated it in the bathroom and I agreed with him that it was just, we all agreed that it was just gonna be too cramped. So the plan for now is to move the kitchen table and just have the birth pool set up in the dining area, which is where I am right now. This is like, I'm at the table. So it'll be, there's a bathroom right here. The kitchen's right here, the sink's right there. You know, the living room with lots of space. Everyone could be kind of still in the same room, but not crowded. The bathroom would have been just too cramped and there was just kind of one in and out. This is more of an open space. And uh, yeah. I think it's gonna work out really well. So I'm very excited about that and I had plenty of time to get used to a new birthing area. But the, like the great thing about it is it's a home birth and so anywhere in the house is gonna be home to me and a comfortable space. The pool liner came in the mail yesterday, so that's here. The home birth kit that I have to order through a website that has all the medical-ish type um, supplies came in the mail last week. So just about everything, everything is really as set up as it can be. Um, the visit with my midwife at home went great as well because it was just kind of a regular prenatal once we kind of saw where everything was and how they, they knew how to get to my house. Um, she had to take my blood pressure twice though because the first time it was super high. I did not see what it was but we were all joking and laughing and I was just, I think while I was getting my blood pressure taken I was just cackling at something someone said. So she was like, I'm going to do that again and get you to be quiet. <laughs> So we did it again and it was fine. I don't remember what it was, but it was normal. She said that they're usually a little higher at the home visit anyways. And then I laid on my own couch and heard little, little baby's heartbeat. And, you know, Logan got to nap during it. It was just pretty awesome. So that was my home visit with the midwife. Love her and I love equally love the midwife that's going to assist her. So now that I have had my home visit and my final assessment and I'm past 36 weeks from 38 weeks now, I'm fully, fully cleared. Fully, fully cleared to have a home birth at any time. But like I mentioned in my 38 week vlog, I do not expect to have any baby, baby action anytime before the 15th. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will also do a video soon about my birth kit. Talk to you soon. Bye.